All right, uh, let's look at the homework 4.3, problem number 5. All right, so it looks like we have the graph of a y prime is given, um, you know, f prime is given, and we want to answer these questions. All right, so on what interval is f increasing? All right, so we want f increasing. So if you think in terms of the f prime, then f prime has to be positive. So you can see that uh, here from 0 to 2, it's positive, and uh, 4 to 6, it's positive, and 8 to 9, it's going to be positive. All right, so uh, let's see. Uh, let's see, it says that the f prime continues to infinity. All right, so this guy actually just to keep on going, right? All right, so this is going to be uh, from uh, 0 to 2, all right? And then, um, and also, uh, and maybe I should use a union, so set notation, so union, and then uh, 4 to 6, all right, uh, 4 to 6, all right, and uh, union, uh, 8, and uh, up, infinity. So it's going to go to symbol and the infinity, all right? Well, one interval is f is decreasing, so it's going to be between 2 and 4 and 6 and 8. So it's going to be uh, between 2 and 4, and the union, um, here, union, and 6 to 8. All right. All right, so let's see if um, our system likes that answer here. So let's check the answer. All right, it came back, and uh, I actually messed up right here. <laughs> I I shouldn't put a, a a square bracket on infinity. So let's check the answer again. All right, uh, I came back, and looks like uh, we got uh, this one correctly. So part A correctly. So let's look at part B. Uh, what values of x does f have a local maximum? All right. So uh, we're going to look at the, here uh, critical numbers. Uh, you can see that the critical number could be here. Uh, there's a 2 and uh, there's a 4. Right? And uh, 6 could be a critical number where the derivative uh, might not be defined. I can't quite see if it's uh, here. So 6 and uh, 8. All right, so let's look at the 2. All right, so here, derivative positive turning into negative. So we are looking at the hill, right? Original function is going to be a going up and down. So to add 2, you're going to have a local maximum. So I, I would say 2 is uh, going to give you a local maximum. And the at 4, so it's a negative, 2 positive. So you're looking at the valley. So 4 is going to actually give you a minimum, so I'm going to put it, put it here. All right, 6, all right? So it's coming in, it's a positive. After that, it's negative. So you're looking at the hill. So 6 is actually is going to give you a, a maximum as well. And 8, uh, so negative turning into positive, so you're looking at the valley, all right? So it's going to be 8 is over here, all right? So uh, let's check the answer. All right, uh, I came back and looks like uh, we got uh, part B correctly. All right, so uh, let's look at the uh, part C. All right, so on what interval is F concave upward? All right, so concave upward is associated with the second derivative positive. If the second derivative is positive, then the first derivative is increasing. So you, we are looking for a place where it's increasing. So you can see that uh, it's increasing um, uh, from uh, 3 to 6, and it's actually 6 to uh, infinity. So it's going from, uh, let's see, so it's going to go from, uh, let's say, 3 to all the way to infinity. All right, so I'm going to just put the 3 and a comma then go all the way to uh, infinity. All right, so we got that. And the concave downward would be uh, where it's uh, decreasing, so it's uh, between 0 and the 3. So look at the 0 and 3. All right, 
So we have that. Let's see. Here, derivative is not defined. Maybe I will um, actually separate at 6. Uh, maybe I'll do this. Uh, so it, it goes to um, 3 to 6, right? And then um, I'm going to have um, um, a union. And then 6 to infinity. And uh, this might make uh, a little bit more sense, right? Um, here, right? Right, uh, because um, I think that at this point, since the derivative is not defined, so you're going to have a, some sort of a cusp or a pointy um, place here. So I, I would like to get, uh, I would like to remove six from the interval. Right. So uh, let's check the answer. All right, I came back and looks like uh, we got part A correctly here. All right. So let's move on to part D. Uh, what are the x coordinate of inflection point? All right. So remember that they has to change concavity, right? So decreasing means that the original function is concave down here. And after that, it's increasing, it's concave up. So there's going to be a concavity change at 3. So I'll probably put 3 there, right? And here, uh, there's no concavity change because it's still increasing. And after that, it's increasing. So it seems like a 3 is the only place. All right, so let's check the answer. All right, I came back and it looks like we got uh, part D correctly. All right, um, assuming that uh, f of 0 equal to 0, I'll sketch the graph of f. Do this paper. All right, so uh, I don't have a paper, but uh, I'll try to uh, draw this picture a little bit. Uh, here, hold on a sec. All right, so I got this uh, uh, paper out. Uh, so I'm going to, um, let's see. So I'm going to uh, sketch this picture. So uh, here is the uh, y-axis. All right, so here is the uh, x-axis. All right, uh, it's not pretty, but uh, I'll probably do it. All right, so it says that uh, it goes through um the origin so uh, zero comma zero goes here so starting from here all right then uh, look at the uh, interval of increase uh, so zero two is increasing and then uh, four to six and uh, eight and on so i'm going to uh, put tick marks on say uh two so here's a two and uh, here is four and here is six and here is eight, All right? So uh, let's put uh, a little uh, note here. So here, um, between zero to two, uh, it's going to be an increasing picture. So I'm going to just uh, put a little note uh, saying that uh, here. So on this interval, it's going to be uh, increasing, right? Uh, between four and six is also increasing here. And uh, uh, 8 on on is increasing. All right. Then uh, 2 to 4, it's going to be decreasing here. All right. And the from uh, between 6 and 8, uh, it's decreasing. All right. Just uh, giving a note here. All right. Then uh, we want to see, let's see, we want to um, uh, look at the concavity here. So on what interval f is concave upward? Okay, so if it's concave up, upward between 3 and uh, 6, all right? So starting from 3, so from 3, all right? And uh, it's uh, concave upward. So I'll just uh, give it a note. So, so starting from here and a concave upward, all right? And then uh, between 0 and 3, and concave downward. So here, uh, concave downward, right? Then we want to get the uh, local maximum at 2. So maybe I'll just say, uh, so local maximum at 2. So I'll just say max there. And uh, 6, you're going to have a maximum there, right? Then you have a 4 and 8, so this is going to be a minimum there. And then we have, uh, let's see, 8, you have a minimum, local minimum there. All right? So we want to follow this pattern uh, to make sure that um, uh, we follow all the information. 
uh, when we draw this picture. All right, so uh, let's um, let's do this. All right, so I'm going to use purple. All right, so on this interval, it's uh, increasing and concave down, and you have a, have a maximum. So it's going to look uh, something like this. All right. After that, it's going to be decreasing and concave down. So it's going to be a decreasing and a concave down. Let's see, I don't like that. All right, decreasing and a concave down. All right, here. All right, after that, it's still decreasing and concave up. So it's going to do something like uh, this. All right, then you have a minimum, then increasing and concave up. So increasing and the concave up right so you hit the maximum and it's decreasing and concave up so decreasing and concave up and they hit the minimum increasing and concave up so it's going to look all right so you have a cusp there but uh, it should look like this so it should go up and down and up and down and up then you would have a, some sort of cusp at uh, x equals 6. All right, uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.